So I gotta be honest with you, friends. I just seen the stupidest bullshit I have ever seen in Destiny just happen a few moments ago. And I will give the shout outs to the people that uh, are in this video or the ones that introduced me to this video. But uh, there's a new dupe for the dual Destiny mission. And I can't even explain it. You're just going to have to watch. So once you kill the boss, you want to have each fire team member leave. So you'll start with uh, yourself. You'll leave. You will put salvations on. And at that point, you will not move once you spawn in. After you leave, your teammate does the same thing. Once he comes back, we will move on from there. Once you and your teammate are back in and you haven't moved, you want to make your way to progress the mission. You do not want to touch the ground for more than like a half second, so you want to hop. You don't stay on the ground. We're doing that to prevent setting spawns because you're going to have to block all your spawns again. So now you both want to start picking up the class item at the same time. You can do a 3, 2, 1, go and start picking up on go. And then at that point, you just both want to kill yourself. And then you're going to spawn in. And once you spawn in, you're going to block where you've just spawned. You're going to shoot Salvation Script right at where you've just spawned and immediately kill yourself again and respawn as quick as possible. By doing that, you will block your spawn. And then after three spawns, you will go all the way back to the beginning of the quest. Now from here, both of, once both of you are here, you want one person to go back to the load before the mission. Once they're there, the second they get there, they can just turn straight back around, come back to the intrusion. And then once they're there, your teammate, they will turn around, they'll go hit the other load, they'll come back. Now once you're both there, you can go, just run through the mission. And then once you're at the, uh, the part where you go up the stairs, there's a little hole that you have to use to get past the door. We'll skip to there and I'll show that. Once you're in this room, you want to start gaining height. Um, you can do that in a variety of ways. You see I use Navigator, but if you're not on Strand, you can use Mountaintop shoot yourself up the mountaintop and then once you're up there you're going to shoot yourself um you can use sword i'm going to go a little bit further as you'll see in the video and then i go straight up once i'm up there i drop straight down and that puts me behind that door that wouldn't open and then from there just keep doing the mission like normal and you'll see where i go Once you guys both get to here, same thing as before, both pick up the class item at the same time, you both get it. Overall, you'll see that this probably takes like six minutes with leaving and rejoining and all that, which is still better than doing the entire mission again, so it is still worth it. Uh, it's nowhere near the original skip, but, you know, take what we can get. So before I go into basically explaining my side of this whole scenario, I want to go ahead and 
thank uh, Astacross uh, for introducing me to this video because I saw this pop up on my YouTube feed this morning and was like, I've got to watch this and figure out what the new dupe is. And let's just say I have a lot to say about it. So first and foremost, let me go ahead and ask this one question. And it's been on my mind since I watched this video. Who in God's name has that kind of time? Like, how do these people come up with this crap? Like, they literally go into this mission, right? Do they just randomly go in and just do this kind of stupid bullshit just out of the blue? Just like, hey, let's go try this really weird thing that we're going to come up with. Or is it like they doing too much of the 420 and they got so enlightened by the 420 that their brain just kicked into overdrive and told them of how to solve the puzzle because this this is driving me nuts <laughs> they took a full six minutes six minutes to do all that right and that is the craziest thing i've ever seen to get one extra class item now here's the second thing i want to mention on top of all this right they had too much time to be able to do that. And now that Bungie is going to go in and see this video at some point, because let's face it, they do watch our videos to go and make sure that we're not doing something silly like this. They are going to go in and fix this at some point. It might not be immediate. It might not be right off the rip, but they will fix it. However, I will agree with some uh, a comment that was made in Cross's chat when he was showing off this video uh, and showing it to his viewers, right? There was a person who commented and said that they, in order to fix it, a quick fix would be to reduce the timer that instead of sitting there for like the 500 seconds or whatever that it sits on there for, for the six minutes, they reduce it to one minute. That fixes the whole problem, right? So, here's the issue that I have with that. Doing this mission takes a full 25 to 30 minutes to do. And that's if you know what you're doing, and you're going as quickly as possible, you're speeding through it, and you're not having any deaths or any issues or anything like that, right? 25, 30 minutes. Takes longer if you have somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, or that they don't know the mechanics or they die a lot, whatever, you know, it takes a full 25, 30 minutes if you know what you're doing and you don't die. But you only get one class item per run. And then you get a 2% chance, a literal, literal 2% chance of a drop rate out in the pale heart, literally, I have spent days, days farming the Pale Heart, looking for class items. I've gotten four. And that was with me being lucky. Like, absolutely 100% lucky. Three of those dropped on the same day. And it took four hours to get those three to drop. Then the other one dropped for me yesterday, randomly, while I was doing a public event. Randomly. That's absolute BS. Absolute 100% BS. It, it, it shouldn't be this difficult to get a class item that re-rolls. And you've got Nightfalls and Gambit and Crucible and all these other events that get double drops every so often. We should get a double drop weekend every so often for this mission. It, it's just plain and simple. Like... If you're going to go and give us a mission that is the only mission in the entire game that guarantees that we get a drop for every time we complete it, then it should be set up to where that every so often it rotates out, where that you get a double weekend, where that every time you do the mission, you get double the reward, period. Because that prevents people like this gentleman, Rhythm here, that made this video, to do these crazy stunts. 
in order to go and spend an extra six minutes in this mission just to get an extra class item. Now, here's the last and final thing, and this is mostly a joke towards Rhythm. So Rhythm, if you ever see this video, this is a joke towards you. I have been looking for this role for weeks, weeks, because this is one of the two roles that I want for my Titan Mark with the Horafrost and Alpha Lupi for a build I'm wanting to do, and you delete it like it's trash. Straight trash. <laughs> All jokes aside, this is literally mind-blowing to me. Literally mind-blowing. That you have these people who are so smart and so intelligent to come out with videos like this, where they go and spend time to figure out how to accomplish a feat that, honestly, Bungie not only will fix, but probably will not go in and listen to their community when their, the community is literally saying, hey, we need this to drop more. Because doing this mission for 30 minutes a mission to complete it to get only one class item and then you give us a two percent chance for it to drop out into the pale heart that's not good enough it's not it's just straight not so thank you to cross and thank you to uh our friend here rhythm yeah thank you to rhythm thank you to cross and uh Hope you guys are doing well and thank you for the videos and thank you for showcasing this i will say though that this is just absolutely ridiculous it's just ridiculous we shouldn't have to go to this kind of length for this but anyway i'll see you in the next one guys bye